it's your duty guys again yes, sir yeah. yes it's a record yeah now it's, it's recorded started. yeah it started but whenever i'm not i sometimes i forgot so i forgot it's your duty to remind me otherwise like you guys will not have the recording okay sometimes i try to do that but sometimes i used to forget so that time you need you need to remind me okay so we will start with one positive quote the comeback is always greater than setback so just remember in your life if like you are at bottom level in your life so just think like you can start from there and comeback is always greater than the setback so release procedure so uh, what's the business requirement for the release procedure and why we configure that in sap ml so what happened uh, i will just give an example a practical example so that you guys can relate let's suppose uh, like uh, sanya is like a manager in a company and i am working there in a store department or in some production department i am working and uh, uh, like i just uh, they he, they just made a rule company has made a rule up to 50000 value up to 50000 value that uh, uh, like uh, that uh, supervisor is going to supervisor and manager is going to uh, release the document otherwise we will not able to uh, convert that that the pr to pu we will not able to convert that purchase requisition to purchase order until and unless that manager and uh, supervisor is going to release that so they have to release that first right same like up to 1 lakh value so up to 1 lakh value company have decided up to 1 lakh value uh, manager and plant head is going to uh, like uh, approve that first release that first then only that pr can be converted to pu so whenever company have such type of a requirement companies go goes for release procedure release procedure concept so how how it's going to work so mm consultant have to configure that release procedure in spr so let me give you example So let me show you screen. SAP screen. Okay, like M F T one N. This is purchase requisition screen. So let's suppose company just want client just want let me take each. so client just want na uh, for this uh, material group 001 the combination of this material group and the plant so plant let me take al0 and purchase group okay 001 okay so client just want like whenever someone is going to create a pr with the combination of this plant and this purchasing group the release that must be always that must be released by a supervisor manager or junior manager like that it must be released right 
if client just want that we can do that so if we just uh, configure that release procedure in pr no one will able to create a pu uh, from that purchase requisition neither no one can create a rf to request for quotation nor anyone can create a pu with respect to that pr so that's a release uh, like release procedure in purchase requisition same we will do in a purchase order like why we used to create a purchase order to purchase something right so if client just want like up to 0 to 50000 of a value so if i just want to solve here like client just want up to up to like how much value is right now like up to 50000 the release uh, release must be release uh, must be done by supervisor and junior manager but after 1 lakh value this is a value you guys know that this is a value from here also you can see So in condition also you can see this is a total value. So this value, let's suppose I'm like client just want like up to fifty thousand. Release must be done by like uh, uh, like supervisor or a, a junior manager. But after one lakh, that must be released by uh, like manager and plant head. Like that, client just want to configure like that. So we can configure that, and we can configure for the combination of some plant and Uh, like plant and purchasing group, we can do that, right? So this is the business requirement for that. Now we will discuss how we can do that, and what are the steps for that. So we will discuss that. Uh, so business requirement is clear or not shania mohammad are is business requirement is clear shania and mohammad is that clear um yes but uh, like i can understand like um, if any uh, any parties uh, uh like in you know, a up to uh, like is there any bar for the purchase like up to 50000 um purchase we can go through the um the like junior manager or the supervisor yeah, like, approval but uh, uh, 50000 to 100000 uh, have to go through the uh, i just took, i just gave a example mohammad i just gave a example a roughing example it can be anything So no, I, I just told you understood. the business. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm asking. I didn't complete yeah. the concept. Don't worry. I just gave a business requirement. Mm-hmm. That's the business use. Why we are learning whatever we are learning. That's I'm saying. Okay. Now mm-hmm. uh, we will see the configuration steps. So uh, like MM consultant used to do that. Okay. So so my And, question is the uh, the the purchase requisition have uh, to no, be no, just wait. I just told. I just told a business requirement. Let me complete the concept. Then you can ask. Most probably, you, you will not have any doubt after that. Okay. I just told a business requirement. Okay. Once I will complete that concept, complete concept, then uh, you will not have any doubt. Okay. So just wait. Just give me some time. Then I will again ask to you. Do you have any question? Then you can ask. So uh, that's the. Uh, uh, mm consultants job to configure in spr 
so we are going to configure that in spro and uh, what will be the requirement like manager senior manager chief manager these will be the requirement and it can that's that's an interview portion and that's also used to come in a global certification exam we can release purchase requisition with classification as well as without classification but in companies in organizations 99.9 percent .9 we use with classification method okay so in this process we can release the pr at both item level and header level so uh, that's also a interview question and that's also a global certification question like we can release purchase requisition at both level header level and item level but in case of in case of a po in case of a po we can release that only at item level so That's also an interview question. So mostly 99.9% companies are using with classification. So we are going to discuss with classification. So in with classification, what we just required. So we just required the requirement. What I'm talking about requirement. For example, client just want, he just want to apply that release by uh, that release procedure. For the combination of this plant and this purchasing group, we are going to create a characteristics for that only. If he is saying, no, I just want to have that combination of two plant or three plant, or I just want to apply that release procedure, uh, configuration of release procedure in all the plants, whatever plants the client has, they just want to apply that to all the plants. In that case, also we are going to create a characteristics as as per that. So first of all, what we do, we just take the requirement. So we are going to take a requirement like Client requirement we are taking as client just want apply this in plant KL01 only. Okay, this is my plant. You can take your plant. So in this plant for purchasing group the 001, he just want like with a combination of this plant and this purchasing group. We must like that pricing, sorry, that release procedure must be triggered. Client's requirement is for the combination of this plant KL01 and purchasing group 001, pricing procedure must be triggered. That's their requirement, right? So mostly don't confuse like uh, we uh, don't configure uh, that purchase requisition release procedure as per amount in PO we used to uh, configure as per amount as I just took I just told the example of 0 to 50,000 50, to 1 lakh because in PR we don't consider uh, like we, we are not worried about so much about the amount even we don't give any amount uh, in PR we just give material plant purchasing group these details we used to give but in purchase order we used to give the amount amount uh, like per item we used to get the amount so in PO like a release procedure of a PO we used to take care of the amount like value 0 to 50,000 or 50,000 to 1 lakh whatever it is we but in case of a PR we just took like a, the combination of these plant purchasing group like that we used to do right so what we are going to do we like first we are just uh, talking about very simple case like we are going to take this plant and this purchase and we have to create a characteristics for that characteristics we are going to make like we will make like care we can make like care plant i can make like that okay care plant is zero
right and for purchasing group let me take like care you can take anything okay so we are going to configure the characters so first of all we must have the client required so we are just uh, right now we are just taking a very simple case single plot and single purchasing with the combination of that client just want for that re release procedure must be triggered and manager and supervisor must become must become means that they have to release that first then only that purchase requisition can convert it to po or it can be converted to rf so that's the client requirement. So what we have to do? So first step is we are going to create a, a characteristics. So I just made an algorithm of tenth step. So it's like complete ten step procedure. So first of all, we are going to create a characteristic. That's the first step. So that's the path. Go to SPRO IMG uh, MM purchasing purchase requisition release procedure. Procedure with classification and added characteristics. So we will go as per path. We can also go through T code, but right now we will proceed with path. So go to SPRO. So just go to material management, go to purchasing. And here we need to go to release procedure. So first of all, just go to purchase requisition node. And here just go to release procedure. You can see here this node. Just and go to procedure with classification. And here you can see added characteristics. Just execute. So you can see. This is a path, right? And we can also proceed that using T code directly, like CT0. So if you just remember T code, you can directly go with T code. So, so you can also access that through the path. So characteristics we are going to take. For plant, we are going to take one characteristics. So this is this we are going to take for plan. Characteristics we are make, going to take for all the characters, uh, all the parameters. So here parameters is like plant purchasing group. So two parameters are there. So we are going to create two characteristics here. Okay? Just give characteristics here. And here you need to click on create icon. This one is a create and this is this one is for chain. So just click on create and here just select single value we will uh, see for multiple values also but right now just select single value in description we will give that same right and hit enter and go to additional data tab. so in additional data tab we will give the table name here we will also learn how we can see tables in SE60. So before that, it's important. Communication structure or table name for purchase requisition is CEBAN. That's also an interview question. So we use a communication structure for purchase requisition, and that's a CEBAN to know the technical names for the characteristics. So whatever characteristics we have taken, if we just want to see the technical name from where we can find the technical, name, we can find that through the table. So we will uh, see the tables in SAP and we will see the technical names and field names for that purchase that uh, like plant purchasing group. We will see, right? So so here you can see we will give these details here. C E B A C E B A N is table name for purchase requisition. 
So here just give C E B A N and field name for plant we will see in SC sixty. So here we will give the field name. E B A N and exit. Okay, so just go to SE11 and go to display, and you can see. Yeah, instead of a SE16, and just go to SE11. Let me show you again. Just go to SE11. Okay, decode SE11. So here we can see all the tables. We just uh, required that table name like for pr it's a cebn so for cebn we can see all the table just go to display and we can see all the tables so this is like tables so from here we can find out field name or technical name so right now we just required for plant you can see here plant so field name or technical name for plant is w e r k s so just copy this and just give the field name here and hit enter hit enter like format data taken from average dictionary hit enter and just select single value here and hit enter and save now we just created a characteristics for plant. Same like that, we will create a characteristics for purchase uh, group. Just wait. Uh, yeah, sorry. So, same like that, I just created, I just created a characteristics for plant. Same like that, I'm going to create a characteristics for purchasing group, right? So, I just took a characteristics for purchasing group is this one. If you are going to take the same, it's not going to work. Just take a different one, okay? You can take like characteristics uh, group, uh, like uh, care, uh, uh, P, PL0203, like that you can take. Same value you can't take, okay? So let me create characteristics for purchasing group. Here, let me give a purchasing group. Click on create. Single value description. Hit enter, go to additional data, and here give table name. So same table name is here, CEBAN. CEBKO is for purchase order, and CEBAN is for purchase requisition. So we need to find a field name or technical name for purchasing group. So same SE11, we will go. And in there, we need to give database table name CEBAN. Just go to display. Right. So we will search for purchasing. You can see purchasing. Copy and paste. Hit enter. Yes. Single value. Hit enter and save. That's also created difference, right? So I just created a characteristic. Now next step is I will create a class. I will create a class. So first step is completed. Like that, you can create a characteristic. The next step is create a class. 
so we are going to create a class we can uh, create a class through e code also and we can also create through path okay. these are step uh, don't think sir what is characteristics what is class we are just creating a parameters okay characteristics uh, for uh, like for each and every parameters we just created characteristics now we are creating a class so that we can assign all characteristics in single class that's the reason we are going to create a class so we can go through path also and we can also go we can access this this transaction through t code also so we will just go in img and we will just go to material management purchasing and go to purchase requisition go to release procedure node and go to procedure with classification and here just go to edit class and just execute there we just created characteristic now we are going to create a class so just click on edit class and class we can give any so let me give a class like Let me give a class like CL class underscore zero. You can give it. And, and in class type, we will select zero three two. Zero three two is for purchase requisition release. So you can see release stats. So we will select 032 here, class type, and this is class, and we will just click on create item. Right? And here we will give a description. Hit enter. Go to characteristics. And here, what we are going to do in characteristics tab, what we are going to do, we are going to give our all correct uh, characteristics. Right, all characteristics. So we just have two characteristics right now. So we will just give all these two characteristics here. What we are doing, we are creating class and we are assigning, we are doing assignment of characteristics with our class. So that we are doing. These both are our characteristics and we are assigning these characteristics with a class so hit enter you can see all this data is copied save and class created now next step we will go to set up procedure with classification so third step is second step completed now third step we will create a release group and where we are going to create a release group we will create that in setup procedure with classification. And here you can see release group. But before that, you need to delete. So just uh, make sure to delete that properly. If you will delete that, uh, like any data, if you will delete, then it can create an issue to everyone. Every Everyone will get so many errors. So just see here how you should delete so uh, it's a thumb rule in sap whenever you used to create you used to create from top to bottom but whenever you are going uh, to delete you just delete from bottom to top okay so uh, if we are going to create we are going to create first a release group then we are going to create release codes then uh, we will create a release stats but here first we are going to delete release stats okay because in system only one uh, release strategy can be there so i have to delete that first then only i can do so i'm going to delete that go and delete and save so after delete just save otherwise it's not going to delete so it's deleted so you need not to touch a workflow just go to release strategy it's important guys if you are going to delete anything unnecessarily then uh, no one will be able to practice that concept 
so just keep in mind you need to delete only release strategy first right now there is no release strategy here then you need to delete release codes make sure or you can write down as a note in your notebook you never going to delete release indicator never ever you can check release indicator is there uh, is is that available or not but never ever delete that release indicator that's most important thing and that's a standard one so it's a standard data so don't delete that okay so never ever delete a release indicator then just go to release course release course you can delete so you can sel select manually one by one or you can select select all from here and just delete from and say that's also deleted now i'm going to delete release pro so select here and delete and say now we are going to so first of all we are going to create a release group so we are going to create a release group and we are going to assign our class to that release group right so we are going to create release group so just go to release group go to new entries and in release group we are going to give a group so let me give r1 release group and i am going to assign my class to that so this is my class and i will assign my class here what i am doing here i am creating release group and i am assigning my class to my release group so hit enter and this check box is important overall release purchase requisition so that we used for header level and item level release if we just want to configure for header level release then we are going to select this, this check box but if we just want item level release then we will not select this check box guys is that clear to you arif uh, safi mohammad yes, choudhary so uh you you know na what's the item level or what's the header what's the item or what's what's the header what's the header and what's the item arif uh, do you know what's the, the header, header, header and what's the item level code. header and header yes what is group company code and uh, in a um the client and the item is the discrete uh, like you know uh, the 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 description of the the no uh, let me show you what's the item what's the header I have explained that now uh, all areas in purchase requisition and purchase order so there you can see item detail area and header area. Right? As we are talking about purchase requisition, so let me open purchase requisition screen. That's a header, na. That's a header, na. And this is item, I item level. This is item level, and this is a header. You can say this is item, item detail, and this is item. Uh, you can say item overview, and this is item detail, and this is header. So. As I'm talking about header level release, that means it's going to release from here only. Item level release means it's going to release from this uh, this area item today. I will explain you later on. That that uh, it means like header level and item level like that. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Mohammad, uh, is that clear now? Uh, sort of. What's a header and item? That's only I'm, I'm asking about. The concept is remaining. I'm just asking what's a header, what's the item level? The uh, above area is a header and uh, like below area is a item detail is item level. We are going to use that item level for that item detail area, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Mohammed, uh, why Tariq is not coming in the class uh, from last four or five, five sessions? I guess he's not coming. I don't know. Today, maybe uh, he didn't know about the time or something. But uh, our timing is same now. Only for last week, I, I, I told like we are not having a session. Right, I don't know. Uh, I'll ask today. OK, just ask why he's not coming in the session. From okay. last six, seven class, he's not coming. OK, OK, yeah. And uh, right, uh, come in classes and. Uh, do your assignments, it will help for you only. OK, even if one uh, student is there or all students are there, I will give the class same with same dedication, but it, it will be better for you if you will come in a live session. Recording is a recording. Live session is a live session. Okay. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to create a release group, right? We were uh, creating release group. So we are creating release group. So I'm taking as R1 and class. I will take this is my class. So hit enter and save. So I will again explain that overall uh, release checkbox. What's the significance for that? Once I will explain the difference between header level and item level. But right now we will just give you a purchase release group and class and just save that. Yes. Actually, okay. our time is changed, right? So, uh, we, like, like your time, you are uh, starting in same time, but for us, we are one hour ahead. Okay, so like timing is same. You know, in our country, it's same, same. Uh, yeah, but, we are taking. yeah, but for us, like it is eight nine thirty today. Okay, like we, so just to, uh, to do like okay. ten thirty, right? Okay, but in India, like time is same. Uh, yeah, I I didn't know about that. Like in, uh, are you from Canada? Yeah. Yeah. So okay, I didn't know like time used to change. So just update him, okay? New timing, just update him. OK, so now what we are going to do, we are going to create a release course. So just go in release code. Just go here in release code, double click and just go to new entries. Just So, so what we are going to do? 
now we are going to create a release course so what is release course what is release course and we are going to create release course we are going to create release course and we are going to assign these release codes to my group, whatever uh, release group I created, like I created P1 now. I created R1. Okay, so I am going to assign my release group R1 to my course so what are course so course like if i just want this i i just want to trigger like a uh, manager for the combination of this like for the combination of this i just want the course course like uh you can say manager senior manager and chief manager okay so i just want these three posts that means i just want these three uh, people like manager senior manager and chief manager to come in purchase requisition like they have to release first then only that PR document can be converted to PO or RF. So release codes I'm taking as manager, senior manager, and chief manager. So like manager MG and description I'm giving like manager, same R2 here, release group. I'm assigning this with senior manager like this senior manager same r1 with chief manager hit enter and say yes so i just created a release group and i assign my course release course with the releasing uh, with that release group right now next you need to check release indicators. You need not to delete or you need not to add it. You need not to do anything. You need not to change anything in that. Otherwise, you will not able to practice this concept, release procedure. That's the reason I'm taking classes on dedicated server. Because in online server, everyone used to delete standard data and students are not able to practice that. So that's the reason I just took that dedicated server and I'm only providing this dedicated server to my students only. Like uh, two, three batches I used to take and I'm only giving that server to these two, three batches students. So it's like if, if someone is going to do that, I can see that, okay? In tables, I can see who have deleted. So it's request like don't delete or don't change, even don't touch the release indicators. And then just go to release status go to new entries and here just give your release group so my release group is r1 and here i will create a strategy so i'm going to create strategy s1 and s2 so strategy 01 i'm giving for s1 and from here i will select hierarchy wise like first who should come like manager should come then only senior manager should come and then only chief manager should come like first manager is going to release, then senior manager is going to release, then chief manager is going to release. And from here, we are going to select from here, these three boxes we are going to release. And because of that, what will happen? It will come like first manager will come, then senior manager, then chief manager. That means first manager have to release that, then only senior manager can release, then only chief manager can release. So just select these three, three checkbox. Okay, so I select this, this, and this. Continue. Okay. Click on release prerequisites and enter and save. After giving that uh, checkbox, clicking on these checkbox, enter and save. Then go to release status. And here, that all must be blocked, blocked, but 
the last one must be reduced. Reduced. All must be blocked, 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 and last one must be released. R. Continue. And say every time just say. Now next tab classification. We just completed release prerequisite tab. We just uh, completed release status tab. Now, uh, now we will go to classification. So go to classification and here go to plant. So here we will give a plant. Right. So what's my plant here? So my plant for uh, which the client just won release a strategy must be triggered. He just want the combination of this plant and this purchase. So this plant I'm going to give here, hit enter. Same like that, give a purchasing group. Okay. And hit enter. Enter and go back. And say, it's done. Okay, now next step will be CL24. In CL24, we will assign that. So here also I have an answer. Don't delete uh, release indicators. Everything is mentioned in notes beautifully. Now next step, it is we are going to assign the object and how we are going to assign object using people CL24. So this is the last step. CL and and here I will give my class. So class is this. Hit enter. Okay, this automatically came. Plant and purchasing group. If it's not correct, you can change form. So enter and save. So it's also done. We have assigned that. Now, what we will do? We will create a PR and then we will test that. Like it's going to trigger or not. So we are going to create a PR while using keyboard and it will keep on it. Plus and ME will keep on it. So I will take any material, any material I can. Quantity, plant, plant I'm taking KL01 and for the chase group I'm taking double zero. Now see what we have. See the magic. Just check. You can see release strategy tab just came. And you can see manager, senior manager, and chief manager. That means first that manager have to release yellow uh, at the yellow icon. That means release possible for manager. But for senior manager and chief manager, release is not possible here. For that manager have to release first then only senior manager we can release and after that chief manager can uh, release right so you can see that that's triggered that's triggered in release status so once i save this and if i will try to create a po with respect to this pr what will happen just This is my purchase repetition. So if I want to create a PO with respect to this purchase repetition, see what will happen. So let me create a PO. We 
let me give a round of this is a purchase group from like it directly i just give a purchase depreciation number here it after you can see what the system is saying purchase requisition not released if it's not going to release by manager senior manager and chief manager we can't create a po with respect to this pr even we can't create a rft let me show you slash on s o m e o t -O. if i will try to create a rft then also i will not able to You can see not suitable item for exist. Item exists for purchase requisition. That also we will not able to create. This will show like not suitable item exists for purchase requisition. So for that we have to release first. right so how we are going to release not we manager senior manager and chief manager going to release but how they are going to release so they are going to release using p code me54 and this is also one way to release me54 this is also one way to release and me55 this is also one way to release. so i'm going to release using p code me54 me54 and I mean 54 and hit enter. Right. So what we have to do first? First we have to go to other purchase order and we have to give a purchase another another purchase requisition and we have to give purchase requisition number. And you just go to release strategy tab. And here, first you need to click on this display or change because right now it's a display mode, but now it will be in a change mode. Let me check with another P code and me 54. release code so first release code is manager hit enter can anyone tell me why i will not able to release arif noman safi mohammad choudhary why i am not able to release can you tell me i think it's only for manager can do it we are the not uh, no access. no it's a, no test server it's okay like uh, decode sure. authorization is there. this is not a reason we are testing we can do no? it's a test server it's not a real so time it's server. already the purchase registration created right mm, you can say like that but the answer is because already i am processing this pr so if I will process the PR in one screen, I will not be able to release that in another screen. So that must be ended first, then only I can release. That's the reason. Because uh, in one screen, that, that's all already, that was opened already. But right now, if I will try, it will, I will be able to release. Slash and ME54. And 54 m again it's going so i have to do one thing i have to log out now.
Hold on. Can you please tell me so I can have Okay, here's Chico. Amy 54. Alright, so I have to that. Let me check with Amy 54. He's called the manager. No, it's okay. So from here, I can release and save. I can select from here and I can release and save. Now you can see released. Now it's released. If you will see now, you can see in ME54. And you can see ME54N is not accessed. I don't know why. But ME54, with ME54, we can read. So release strategy, you can see. Manager is already released. Now this icon just shipped to senior manager. That means for senior manager right now, release is possible. So the release is possible for senior manager. Yeah, now I can do that. Now I can do that. You just need to click on this. Uh, one is display mode, but another one is a change mode. So right now I can also release from here. So you can see from here also, uh, I can release senior manager. Release possible icon is for senior manager. It's not still it's not for chief manager. Once I will release, it will come to chief manager. You can see. It's also released. Okay. So we have released using key code ME54. We have all all we, all, we have also released using key code ME54N. So you can release with any of them, and we can also release using key code ME55. So I will release like that from here, and it's also released. But I have to save that. Let me show you first. You can see all release. If I want to cancel the release, I can also cancel the release. But I have to do that from uh, bottom to top. I can. If I will do from the first, all will be unreleased. So I can release my. So that's the reason we have to do that from bottom to top hierarchy. Then we can see it's released. Now, if I will try to create a PO, I will be able to do that. Now see, no message. Now I can create a POS assessment. No message. Right? Because I have already released that. So I can create. If I want to create a RFQ, that also I can create. Now you can see, I can create RFQ also. Now, if I just like summarize this, if I just summarize this, if client just want to trigger to activate that release procedure, and he just want whenever purchase requisition is created with a combination of this plant and this purchase group, that release procedure uh, release strategy must be activated and uh, that release strategy must be triggered and that manager senior manager whatever it is that must be come so we can configure that for that what we have done we just first we just created a characteristics if i just summarize uh, this we have just created a characteristics first right 
we just created a characteristics like for plant we have created a characteristics for purchasing group we have created a characteristics then we have created a class and we have assigned this to our characteristics okay and uh, we have assigned characteristics to our class third what we have did we have created a release group like r1 we have created if you, you remember r1 we have created and we have assigned our release class this release class we have assigned to release group same we will do in step 4 we will create a release codes like manager senior manager chief manager and we have assigned our release group like third step is assigned with the fourth step second step is assigned with third step first step is assigned with the second step like class is the characteristics characteristics are assigned with class class is assigned with a release group release group is assigned with release codes like that then after that we just uh, like uh, check the release indicators we didn't delete it that and we just created a release strategy s1 right in which we just took the combination of the plant and purchasing group and then we just assign the object using p code cl24n after that i just created a pr and i tried to convert that pr to po or rfq i was not able to do that still i didn't release that using p code me54 and me55 so i just release that and then only i will able to create a po or rfq with respect to this pr one more point one more point one more point here if i will if i will create a purchase requisition material and i am taking kl01 for purchase group i am taking this one now just tell me is release said she will triggered or not Mohammad Chaudhary, no man, Safi, Arif. I think not because of your uh, group. Uh, this is, group is already changed. That's why. Yeah. Perfect. Purchase group. So because yeah, purchasing group is changed because we just configured that for the combination of this purchasing group 001 and plant kl01 if we will not take the combination of these two this will not trigger in next session we will take so many plants so many purchasing group some other, another parameters we will take then we will try but right now as we just took for the combination of this purchasing group and this plant and i didn't took the combination of these two i took that same plant but purchasing group i just took Instead of 001, I just took 002. So now if I will check now, it will not trigger. You can see there is not any tab for release strategy. You, can, you can't see any tab here, right? So this is the reason uh, like why it's not triggered here. Why that release strategy is not triggered as uh, no man have answered uh, completely correct because the com it will only trigger the combination of this plant and this purchasing group 00 right so now tell me guys is that clear or not if it's not clear you have any question or doubt you can ask now mohammad choudhury you can ask if you have any question no um i have question like uh like we deleted first to create uh, mm -hmm. the combination now uh -huh. uh, like is like how many combination it could be uh, uh same time how, how many combination like it depends on you you want to take five purchasing group you can take five purchasing group you want to take your all plants whatever plants you have you can take that but like uh, let's say there is on already uh like um 
like we created one, right? Like next time if we create another one, so do you have to still delete them with the different? Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, like I have created one strategy. If you are going to create, if no one is going to create, if Arif is going to create, just delete as I told. Don't delete release indicator. You have to delete no, no, in the no, system. I understood, only. but what I'm asking, like we we create one combination, but if we if I want to create another combination, uh, do I have to delete this combination? No, no, no. Multiple, multiple value we are going to do in the next session. We will discuss that. Okay, multiple selection variant option we will use. Okay. 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 